What's going on? Katie Bow here. I'm uh, sitting out here uh, preparing for a, um, a podcast that I'm going to do a little later on uh, at the crib. But it's good to talk to you, man. I'm going to jump right into this. And I'm going to tell you now, at the risk, I'm sure, of me sounding like a homer, which I probably am a Fal- uh, Clearly, I'm a Falcons homer. <laughs> so that's what it is. Um, I want to share some stuff with you. But it really isn't, it's less about football as it is about just real life. So if you can rock with me here, I know cars and the sound, what have you, it's probably a little janky, which I'm fixing, but I had this thought come across my mind I want to share with you, all right? You ready for this? You ready? Okay. The Falcons aren't a bad team. They're, They're not. They're not a bad team. And for people to say that they're a bad team, that they're garbage, that they're, you know, throw the whole team away, you have a right to say that. You know, I'm not coming, I'm not coming against your fandom at all. And and whatever your team is, hey man, much success to you in your season. But they're not a bad team. What they are is a good team that doesn't seem to finish well. They're a good team that even if you wanted to say they find a way to keep losing, they find a way to give the game away. They are a, a good team with, a, with a, a good quarterback who finds a way to make boneheaded throws. Now that's a different distinction. And, and I know we can get back and forth with the, the fandom thing, man, and I can go as hard as anybody as I was talking about that. But that's a distinction I want you to grab because sometimes we put things in these 100% boxes and they don't belong in a 100% box. Okay, so for those people who, you know, was making the memes about the Cowboys in the beginning of the game, how they were trash, how they were garbage, those same people had to do some different memes towards the end when they won. So if you're the kind of person that determines how you feel about something based on the last thing that happens, you, you're gonna be all over the place. No, nothing, no one, no thing, no circumstance is 100% really anything, except for, you wanna say God, the devil, okay, I'll give you that. But for the most part, we are, some of the, 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 the most righteous of us have some ratchet in us. And the most ratchet of us have some righteous in us. The distinction that I'm making to you is because there are some of you who have messed up and people have labeled you 100% bad, but it's not true. You did a bad thing, but that didn't make you bad. You might have showed up in a way that was not indicative of who you genuinely are, but it doesn't make you a bad person. And and one of the best ways that we can get the most out of relationships is if we, like my grandmama said, eat the meat, Spit the bones out and trust me, baby. That's what she said. There's always bones, okay? So we could talk about your team. We could talk about football. We could talk about whatever. But the principle in life is to not make things 100% anything based on how we feel. Now, does that mean that they should not have thrown that game away yesterday? Absolutely. You doggone skippy. They should have have not thrown the game away. And that's, that's what they did. For whatever reason, does that mean the coach needs to be fired? Maybe, maybe not. Does that mean that, like, that you know, hey, the 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 catches that were made, the turnovers that were forced, and all that was that bad too? Because let's think about it. Most of us say that things are bad, all right, but we forget the fact that that some in some of those same situations we cheered, we cheered in some cases. We booed in others. So if you think about not my team, all right, not my team, think about your team. Have you made some mistakes? You know, okay, let's talk about the Patriots. The Patriots, they, I mean, come on, the quintessential GOAT used to play for them. I mean, all these championships and what have you, they had a perfect season. But then when they played Eli Manning and the Giants that year and won all year long, got to the Super Bowl, and couldn't pull it through. From a Giants team, some would say was significantly not as good. So my point is to get the best out of life, to get the best out of anything, learn to compartmentalize. 
everything ain't a hundred percent the Falcons ain't a hundred percent bad the Patriots and whoever the Seattle Seahawks ain't a hundred percent good all right your job is not a hundred percent bad nor is it a hundred percent good your spouse your children your everything your money all of that man find a way to compartmentalize and so what you do is you we treat the bad work on it make it better and you fertilize the good make that better okay sometimes the bad areas in our lives is just because we lack a little bit of coaching you just need to be coached up in that area you just need to be better in that area because just because you're not a great husband does not make you a horrible father all right but but, but depending on the person that's telling the story they want to make it 100 percent anything because they everything because they want to defend themselves they want to protect themselves if i if there's any part of him good then i'm gonna feel bad that other people gonna look at me like i'm crazy no 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 we are both and. The person I'm talking to you right now, the person you're looking at right now, is both and. And let's embrace that, all right? My Falcons lost yesterday, and it was awful. 39 points on the board, lost to a team that put up 40 in the most terrible way. But the Super Bowl that we lost in was not bad. It ended bad for us. The game yesterday was not a bad game. It ended bad for us. Learn to make the distinction to not make something 100% anything and you'll get the best out of life. Now, that, it won't bring a win back in those columns, but, but you will feel better about yourself because other people are going to be able to come to you even when they don't have 100% of the goodness that you want because they know that you'll give them grace. You'll give them grace. When they mess up, you'll give them grace because you'll fight to see the good. You'll struggle You'll, you'll strain to see the good parts. And that's what you want people to do to you. And that's what I do. So there you go. Be on the lookout. Man Up, uh, Man Up Live is coming back. It's coming virtual. And the next time I have a conversation with you, it'll all be laid out and you'll know exactly when we're going to have this conversation. And I'll tell you some other things that I'm building as well. Until next time, what up, folks? Man Up. <laughs>